Sea West rivals can't stand each other, and that should make for some good natured family fun after Thanksgiving dinner on Thursday night. The 49ers are a slight home favorite, but that may not last with the way the line is trending. The Seattle Seahawks were at 3 and 3 five games ago, and people were viewing Seattle as a team that wouldn't even make the playoffs, let alone repeat as champions. Five weeks later, the Seahawks are 7 and 4 and coming off a win in which they held the 9 and 1 Arizona Cardinals team to 3 points. The San Francisco 49ers took down the Washington Redskins 17 to 13 and also improved to 7 and 4. Since allowing 58 points in back-to-back -back losses to Dallas and St. Louis, the Seattle Seahawks defense has toughened up and gotten back on track. In the five games since, the Seahawks have allowed a total of 77 points. They still have a top 10 defense against the pass, against the run, and their mean edge has returned. The Seahawks sacked Drew Stanton three times and hit him several more, holding the Cardinals to just 204 total yards in Sunday's 19-3 win. The Seahawks have allowed more than 400 yards just once this season, and they have not given up more than 298 yards in five of their last six games. The San Francisco 49ers haven't been getting a ton of respect this season, but they have quietly put together another solid year. After reports of locker room turmoil and Jim Harbaugh leaving because of a contract dispute, the 49ers have won six of their last eight games and are currently on a three-game winning streak. Like the Seahawks, the 49ers have had plenty of difficulty moving the ball through the air. That changed a little bit against the Redskins as Colin Kaepernick posted a stat line of 20 of 29 for 256 yards with a touchdown and an interception. The 256 yards from the passing game were the second most this season. After 11 games, Colin Kaepernick still doesn't have a rushing touchdown. Pete Carroll is 7-4 this season and 5-6 and against the number. In his head coaching career, which includes stints with the New York Jets and the New England Patriots, Carroll is 84-65 and straight up and 77-65-7 and against the spread. Jim Harbaugh has had a lot of success with the San Francisco 49ers. This season, the Niners are 7-4 straight up and 6-5 and against the spread. Jim Harbaugh is 48-18-1 as a head coach and 40-25-2 against the spread. Both of these teams are extremely one-dimensional on offense right now and have posted similar defensive stats throughout the season. This will be a very physical game with a lot of rushing plays, hard hitting, and probably some fights and personal foul penalties. The Seattle Seahawks have some serious injury concerns on the offensive line and running up the middle has been very hard for them. That will force Russell Wilson to make some throws in this game and he seems lost without Golden Tate and Percy Harvin in the passing game. The 49ers enter this game in better shape and have the home field advantage. Situational stats, trends, and our comprehensive database of statistics can open your eyes to a whole new way of looking at sports betting when you check out the Bang the Book Betting Center.